Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are opening up Post from North America. I've got two fantastic letters. Like this one is from Park Goldfield. Um, he is the man who made this altar. And I'm just so happy for it. This was back in 2020 when I was looking for price cards to give away to patrons who actually, um, you know, one of one one of the Timmy Talks events, and he actually made 25. So this is uh, number 11 out of 25. I still have quite a lot of these because they only give away one each time a patron wins, like a Timmy Talks event, and um, they're beautiful. You know, it's a really great job of Park, and I think here you can uh, find his Instagram if you want to have some altars. He really has a unique style and also a very interesting background as an artist uh, in LA. So yeah, so there's mail from him. And also I've got a message from her folk and um, her folk also enjoys making altars. So I'm curious to see what's what's in here. I've, I've no idea um, at all. This, this feels kind of thick. This one has to have an altar. Knowing Park, it has to be an altar. But um, yeah, let's just rip this one open first. Let's see what it is. Here we go. Oh, the Children's Hospital LA. Is it just a cover? Okay. We've got a nice peace sign. Ooh. Hey, Thomas, why don't you send you another Timmy in a Halloween costume altar? <laughs> Sweet. This is inspired by those vintage dime store masks. And you know what they say about black cats. Spooky. Happy Halloween Park. P.S. Let me know if you'd like to arrange another Halloween matchup. Yeah, we've had some really cool matchups. We should. You probably said this a while back. Like, posts can take ages uh, here. Actually, look, look, look. It's on here. It says 24th of October. Wow, that's, that's a while back. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, I love it, man. I love it, Park, man. It's really nice. It's just nice with magic to have these, these friendships overseas. I really, I really need to, to get to the States soon to meet with everybody there. I really love it because it, it actually looks like there's a layer on. There's not. Also here, there's the string. So there's some depth in here as well. Very well made. You can see the ice through it still. Fantastic. Booze and brews. Wow, man. Love it, love it, love it. This is going to be added to my Timmy Alters collection. And I'll, I'll put a link, by the way, here on an info card to, to the matchup I had with Park. Uh, great. He builds great decks. We usually, we, we think alike and we're building really sophisticated decks with like super bad plan that takes ages. So whenever we play against each other, it usually takes quite long before we have, we have a winner. But um, yeah, that's just funny. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. I got a bit of a cold. Uh, let's open up the next envelope. So we've got posts from her folk. And uh, look, look at these lovely stamps. So she's from Canada. Uh, how to open this? Like her address is on the back, so I don't want to show it. Let me just have a quick look here. What's the best way? Okay, you know what we'll do? We'll grab the scissors and be just really careful because we don't want to cut anything, obviously. It feels a little bit like I'm cutting something. Okay, no, I'm not. Oh, look at this. Wow. There's a whole letter. Um, if we open it up. Nope, there's nothing. Always checking. It has happened to me in the past. If I accident, I threw away things. You know, really, really feel really bad about that. Um, ooh, this looks cool. Okay, before, before we look into this, let's first check out the letter. Um, also has a card, I believe. Ooh. Let's just put the card here. Okay. Dear Timmy, I'm not sure if you have seen this old school magazine put together by a Canadian OS crew, but I thought you would enjoy it. I've also included some souvenir cards from the Lim Duels High Guard P and D, or was it R and D? From Alice 2023. It took a while for these to get back around, but they should get to you before Alice 24 begins. Actually, Kylie, it has. Kylie slash 
her folk, her folk is her screen name. It actually has, you know. Ah, so you're talking about our Alice event. Like we have like an Alice or Ice Age tournament once a year, always during the winter times. So yeah, the cards here on time. Maybe I can play with it. Um, with the cards, I should say. There are multiple in here. How to get these out though. Okay, like this. Okay, so we've got an Icy Manipulator. LS23. Sweet. Icy is so good. I used to think this was the OG Icy. I started during Revised, and of course, Icy Manipulator wasn't reprinted after Unlimited. So I, for the longest of times, I thought this was the OG Icy. There we go. Love this art by Amy Weber. Like, she's fantastic. Uh, ooh, Limdol's High Guard. I love Timmy. And then we've got the signatures of everybody who was in that group. Ah, this is so cool. This is so cool. So if, if you don't know, like I organize online tournaments to thank the patrons for their support. Um, and obviously when you're joining one of these events, it's like 40 plus people playing. So you're in a group. So what her folk did is she sent this card around to everybody. This is, this is her folk herself signing in. Um, you know, and everybody signed it. But of course they live all over the world, right? So this takes a long time. So it's a really cool idea that this has gone from door to door to door. It's like, it's pretty cool. And then we have another signed light, Limdul's lightsaber. That is funny. <laughs> that is actually really cool. It suits him, the lightsaber. It's like, it makes sense. This is really cool. Limdul's lightsaber. <laughs> I love it. Now let's take a look at his magazine, shall we? Like I've, I've never heard of this. Look at this, two copies. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, let's let's open it up. Let's have a look. $10 card snob. Cameron Kilpin descends the world of discount magic to help you swirl, sniff, and sip like a pro. This first thing you notice when you play an Eternal Flame is that you can't play it because it costs 2 RR. Generally speaking, the 4 CMC Sorcery remains deceptively easy to include in the 60 card deck. But be aware, it's dead when drawn too early. It's use useless mid-game and is no finisher at all. Look at looking at you, Eureka. One thing you immediately notice when holding Eternal Flame in your hand is it has amazing artwork. Obvious. Tones of runic vagueness, less obvious tones of what are they doing with that kil kiln thing? Eternal Flame is commonly paired with Blood Moon, a card that makes mountains out of strip mines. It is also paired commonly with losing the game, eventually. That's so sweet. Jamming Eternal Flame is a casual badass way to tell your opponent that your sourced Shivan was a one-off. It's also a reserve list card, so you look classy and graceful. I like I like Eternal Flame, man. I've I've played it not too long ago at a tournament. I did play it as a one-off. I gotta admit, you know, um, I like I like it. I mean, if you have four mountains, uh, it's still four damage for four, which is pretty good value. And um, you know that could be decisive when you're playing like like an aggro thing. But um, I, it's really cool. I'm gonna definitely read read this, man. I, I love these magazines that are like created by the community. Much much better than all that commercial. Crap. So, um, look, look at this picture of Atok. Oh, man. The bone flute. <laughs> okay, let's not. <laughs> Did you see what it said there? Okay. I'm going to read this later. I'm not sure if this is this is the right content for, for my uh, for my child-friendly, kid-friendly channel. Actually, it's, it's, it's not a kid channel, so it's fine. But anyway, uh, whatever. Thank you very much for watching. And her folk, thank you so much for sending the, these over. They look fantastic. I'm going to... Going to read them this evening. Going to enjoy it. Uh, I thank you, Park, man. This is uh, this is epic. I'll be sending you a DM for sure. Very cool. Really nice how you layered this on top. Very cool to get that mask effect. And look at the eyes. Very, very sweet. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?
Somebody can see.